Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday, it's in April. What? My son's 18 tomorrow. Oh my goodness. That hits you hard. Man, I don't realize how it hits you until they're actually 18. Ooh. Okay, this is what we're doing. Three rounds. We're going 10 good mornings. Like this, you guys know. Ooh, I'm a little sore. 10 good mornings. And then we're going to go, you can either go five to one side or you can alternate. And we're going five by five body weight to start lateral lunges. Okay. So push that hip back, find that nice little stretch and try to be on your whole foot. Then we have, grab your band. You have a choice. You can be overhead pulling it apart and getting a nice little stretch back there if you want. Otherwise, you can be here. A little closer grip and pull it like, it, like you're going to rip it apart, right? That's what we're going for. And feel that up in here. So three rounds, 10 good mornings, five by five, and 10 pull aparts. Any which way that you want to. All right, friends, let's move. Five by five lateral lunges. Just see how they feel. And then you're gonna pull this puppy apart 10 times, either overhead or at waist height. It's kind of depends how it feels for you. I'm going to go back to good mornings. Remember on your lateral and just keep your chest up. So you're like looking across the room.
right. All right, friends. <laughs> this is what we got today. So this first part is strength, okay? We had a strength and a sweat. So your second part, you're gonna be able to move, move, move as fast as you want to go, okay? And the second part is pretty much almost all body weight. So what are we doing? We're going 10 minutes. If you got heavier weights, you can go slower if you, and, and work through this as you're able. If you have lighter weights, you're gonna just work form and make sure you rest when you need. So. We're going eight to eight, eight by eight lateral lunges. So you can grab a weight. We just did lateral lunges. You can have a weight here. You can have two weights. You can have a weight down here and you're just gonna go eight by eight. So if you're weight here, you wanna keep your chest up. Your weight here, same thing, right? And we just wanna make sure we're pushing back into that hip and we're not pushing way forward like that, okay? So you get an eight by eight lunge. You can weight it or unweight it as your choice. Then you got 10 push ups. Sarah, you're gonna do loaded bridge if that's not your jam today. And then, so 10 push ups any which way you want, which means if you want to work on getting to strict that one knee or going knee. But if knee seems really, really easy, I want you to try to bring up one knee or alternate between the two. Um, last thing we're doing is 10 total plank drags. What do I got? Yeah. 10 plank drags. So you're right here. You're going 10 total. Ooh. Now, Sarah, so grab your weight. I have something different for Sarah because I know she can't go like that. Sarah, see if you can do this. Instead of a plank drag, if you have that weight underneath you, and you pull the weight here and then bring it back. Can you do that? Okay. It's basically the exact same thing. You're just working your core in this direction versus coming this way. Okay. So 10 eight by eight lateral lunges, 10 push ups. Sarah, you got loaded bridge. And then woo, 10 plank tracks. We ready? I think we're ready. Okay. Work hard this 10 minutes. 12 minutes after this, we're working even harder. Here we go, in five, three, two, one. Here we go, you got 10 or eight by eight lateral lunges, 10 push-ups, and 10, 10 plank tricks. Let me wrap it out. And you can do eight on one side and then switch and do eight on the other if you want to, that's totally fine. You got plenty of time. So even if you do say five push-ups, to maybe you do one stretch. But you don't have to rock them out really, really fast.
Thanks, Will. Here you go, Sarah. Thanks, Andy. Here you go, Andy. We are three minutes in. So goals should be at least three rounds, depending on the amount and how weight you're using. Nice, nice, Will. And if you only get two or three rounds, that's okay. Nice job, guys. So if you feel like the plank drags, you need more reps, and you're like, more reps. You find that medium weight that's somewhat challenging, where 10 feels a little bit like a struggle. That's what I was noticing when I would use a 20. We are a little over halfway. When I would use a 20 pound dumbbell, plank drags would just seem a little too easy. And that could be, I could have been a 12 pound dumbbell if I started on a 12 pound. So just know that if an exercise starts to feel easy and before it wasn't, you're stronger. <laughs> <laughs> which makes it a little easier. So I am just starting my third round. If you're just trying to know where I'm at, to kind of pace yourself. And I'm using a 20 and a 25. Strong guys. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Katie. Like you, Katie, you're using a heavier weight. I'll see you. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, how are those front plank drags going? Sweet. Yay. I was like, I still wanted to do some version of a plank drag. <laughs> Two minutes, 20 seconds.
We are under two minutes. Minute 20. I'm going body weight. At least body weight for the first two exercises this last round. One minute. Thirty seconds, friends. Woo. Three. Two, one, rest. Who grab one? And this next part. Is the time cap part. Okay, friends, let's let's have a little chat about how this works. If you have your chat up and can see the workout in the chat, it becomes a little easier. <laughs> so, it's a 12 minute time cap. You're going to do this ladder like, uh, you're going to do this workout like a ladder, okay? You have four little circuits, and you have two exercises in each circuit, okay? So, let me give you an example. First exercise, your ladder is 10, 90, 10 to 1, okay? Second exercise, you're climbing up 1 to 10. So you would 3, 2, 1, go. You're going 10 air squats, 1 jump squat, 9 air squats, 2 jump squats, 8, 3, 7, sit. You get it. <laughs> one goes down, the other one goes up. <laughs> So that, I mean, there's four, four types of these. So you go air squats and jump squats. So when you get to one air squat and 10 jump squats, you move on to Ukrainian twists and tuck up. So that I usually go a lighter weight. So we go like this, or you go no weight. So Ukrainian twist, tuck up to here. So you can bring it down. You can do this with no weight imaginary weight, right? So I think I did that wrong. <laughs> I did. I did. My bad. Okay. Let me, let me let's re-explain number two. Uh-huh. Ukrainian twist. Give me 10 total. Okay. Give me a tuck up. Give me nine of these. Two tuck ups. You got it. You take one off and add it to the other. Okay, number three, jumping jacks, 10 jumping jacks, one burpee, nine jumping jacks, two burpees. You guys got that? Last one, plank taps. Everything is just 10 total. Don't think per side, okay? Everything's 10 total. Last thing you got, 10 plank taps. One, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. And then we go to around the world one time. So arm, arm, leg, leg. That's one. Bring it back down. I got nine taps. One arm, arm, leg, leg, arm, arm, leg, leg. That's two. Does that make sense? 
Okay. As you can see, you won't be sweaty. <laughs> so it's 12 minutes, okay? Get as far as you can in 12 minutes. If you get through it, awesome. Find a stretch. If you don't get through it, do not be mad at yourself. Sometimes we just have days we don't get through all that, and that's okay. And there might not be our strongest movements, but that's fine. I'd rather have you work form over how fast you get it done. Okay. Hey, Holly. Holly, does yeah. that mean you do all of number one and finish the whole ladder and then go to two? Correct. So you're going to do air squats all the way down to one, and then you're going to do jump squats to 10, and then you'll move on to two. So once you finish, move on. If you finish all this, awesome. If you don't, don't stress. It's like, I, we think we've done this in 15 minutes before we're going to change it a bit. Okay, here we go. Air squats, jump squats. Start with 10 air squats, one jump squat, take one off one and add it to the other until the other one gets to 10. When the other one gets to 10, whoo, then we move on. All right, friends, here we go. Woo, in three, two, one, here we go. 10 air squats. One jump squat, nine air squats. Oh, that's just doing. Ooh. Ooh. 
Next up, Ukrainian twist and tuck ups. 10 total Ukrainian twists. Can you do a dead bug? Just do a dead bug. Each leg. Count each leg. Good job, Tara. Nice job, you guys. We are coming up on six and a half minutes. Nice job, you guys. Seven and a half minutes. You got time. Twelve minute cap. You get to jumping jacks. It's gonna be a little faster. Burpees, modifying what you need. Eight minutes in, you get as far as you can go. Third round is jumping jacks and burpees.
coming up on almost the 10 minute mark. Two minutes, as far as you can. Keep breathing, keep going. Thirty seconds, and as far as you can. I'm not making it out of the burpees. And that's okay. Three, two, one. If you didn't get all the way through that, that is okay. Whew. All right, now it's your favorite stretch time. So, depends. If your lower body's bugging you more than your upper body, I would either go pigeon on your back or I would do a little bit of these where you bring one leg in, hinge at that hip. You can even use your band. FYI, if you can't reach this foot, using a band will help, okay? Or you can pigeon it, or you can thread the needle if you're feeling like, oh, my shoulders and I need a little stretch. Or maybe it's a little cat cow. Just find a stretch really quick because it's important that we do those things. Especially after we work out, if we just take a little time just to find a stretch or two to cool our body down. Yeah, you know, how many times I've seen somebody in this state just go right into their car and I'm like, oh, oh no, no, no. All that work we did. It's even worse when it's the uh, middle of winter and you see somebody sweating like crazy and then goes right into their car and all their muscles just like, right? Whoo, nice job guys. Can you believe the end of April is tomorrow? Oh my goodness. I'll be sending you guys an email today. I hope you feel amazing. And you have an amazing day and weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a good one. Amy, how are you cabin? No, we're just upstairs because there was a sleepover in the basement last night. Oh, well, today, so <laughs> you want to like jump on all the kids and make them do burpees and stuff? We let them have the basement. Yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs> all right, have a good day.